Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Millennium Falcon. It's all about the add-ons this week. There are a lot of add-ons to add on. So if you don't like add-on add-on videos, then uh, you probably won't like this video because it's all about add-ons and adding them on the add-ons. I'm going to stop saying add-ons and crack on with it. First looking at what comes in issue 96 and then what comes in issue 97. So in issue 96 then we get these pieces here. We get another one of the landing legs and all the add-ons that come with that. Uh, we won't be looking at this this time but keep these safe along with the other two that we got last time and we'll be doing them very very shortly and so the rest of the parts are add-on parts for the back of the falcon i did say that this would be a add-on heavy video and it's going to all get started now so what we need first of all is the back of the falcon uh, because we are going to be adding add-ons to this part so the first thing we do is we just test out the vents put them on like so just to give, just to show you really what they look like when they are attached. As you can see that the color of the uh, rim is different to the color of my base because I have spray painted that. Uh, spray painted that, I don't know why I said that so weirdly. But they look fantastic. I mean, I really, really like how these grates uh, came out. Um, the black wash is very nice and it's um, not neat. Yeah, there are patches of darker uh, places and patches of lighter. Very, very nice. I mean, you don't see the fans underneath. I know that's going to irk some people, but I really, really like them and I am going to be using them. Oh, just looking at the back there. This one's got a cross and this one's got a circle. I wonder. Yeah, okay. So if you look at the back, I've only just noticed this myself. We've got a big hole here and then a little hole here. The big hole is obviously for the big hole and then the cross is for the little hole. So they do have a very um, definite way of attaching, which is pretty cool like that so uh, i'm just going to fix uh, attach these on and then i'll be right back with you and here they are all installed looking very very nice i really love the uh, texture of them very very nice addition indeed um i've also added a few of the smaller add-on parts which you can see in this photo um just for clear reference there um i've also discovered that the add-ons on part 96 are the same either side so i'm going to show you this side and then i'm going to go away and do this side off camera to kind of save time for the video and also make it a little bit more watchable. So the first add-on is this circular one here. Any one of the circular add-ons uh, you can use for this. And also I just want to point out that I have pre-weathered all the add-ons for this part um, in various um, shades of black to make them stand out a little bit more. That add-on just goes on there like that. It pushes into the two holes very nicely indeed. The next add-on is this little one here um, and this just sits very nicely next to that circle one. You can't really see like that and it goes in there like that. It is important to note that for that side it is this add-on that I'm using not this one. Uh, this one is used for the other side. So the one that is sloping that way not that way is the one you use for that side there. Okay so the next one is this piece here uh, a nice central part and I'm going to have to do this upside down, really, um, just to get it on camera. And this piece sits in here like so. So you can see there's two holes. The inner of the two circular holes is where it clips into, sort of. It's quite hard to see, actually. Get one in, get the other one in. There we go. Push that down. Ah, no. Hold on. There we go, it is all attached now. And what I like about this part is that it creates two more holes for extra add-ons. Like all these holes weren't enough, we get uh, two, uh, four extra holes with this piece. Um, they are really throwing all the add-ons onto these uh, two issues, aren't they? Right, so that is that one all in. So the next piece is this piece here, which is a very, very nicely designed piece. The two holes on this side go away, uh, go towards even, I'll show you. Go towards the circle away, uh, go towards the circle away from the center of um, this add on part, uh, this back panel. And you just push it in there like that. It doesn't feel very secure. And the reason it wasn't very secure is because I was putting it in the wrong place. Uh, it actually goes here, right next to this center part here. So you have the two holes facing away from that and this part touching and going over this part that we've already just put on. So that is how that is all installed. So this next piece here is going into the place where I was just trying to put it, uh, put the last one. It just fits into the holes there and it does fit of course, cause it's meant to go in there. 
push that down like that and you'll see that all those parts are connected just like that looking very very nice indeed and the final piece on this side then is another one of these circle parts which just fits into these two holes here oops oh, it's all going wrong and it goes on there like that uh focus so you can see this is the part i've been working on mainly and then this one goes here next to this kind of three pronged part just like that. So I'm going to go away and do the same onto this side. I'm also going to attach all the pipes. Um, I will put up a photo now. This is where all the pipes have gone. Um, I just, um, I'm struggling to put these parts on on camera because the piece is so big. Um, so I'm not going to even bother with pipes. So I am sorry for those people who are following me as a guide, but that's why I did that photo as a reference. Um, and when I've done this, I will be back with you. And here it is all finished. And you will have noticed that I have also added the next three of these vents here, the engine vents. And uh, yeah, that means that we are going on to the parts that came in issue 97, the 50 add-ons. Yes, there are 50 of these add-ons uh, to do. Once again, I am not going to show you how I did the pipes. And I know this sounds like a cop-out, and I don't mean it to. I genuinely believe this. Um, for example, that is an add-on pipe. And I don't want to kind of reveal where all these add-on pipes go. I think part of the reason that I've enjoyed just doing this part so much is, yes, you get your hands dirty and it is fiddly, but uh, you also kind of discover, oh, okay, that goes there. Oh, okay, the picture in the magazine isn't that clear. Oh, okay, Chris Falcon's video didn't really show um, how clear that was. Um, so I'm not going to show everything to kind of keep that element for you. Uh, you are building this model after all. And for those of you who aren't building the model, I am sorry, just logistically with the filming, I can't get everything. Um, but I am going to stop waffling now and have a look at what comes on this sprue. And the first piece is this piece here, um, as you can see, super tiny. And this fits into this slot just there. Of course, I have painted it already, which means it is a little harder to see on camera. Oops. But if you just push that down, it fits in there like that. And I made a boo-boo uh, from the start. It's meant to have a little kind of jetty sticky outy part, um, which I accidentally cut off. So it is meant to have like a little pipe attached to that part. So make sure you don't cut that off. I am sorry about that. And here it is still attached to the sprue. So that is annoying. So for this one, I'm gonna have the pipe on, which goes all the way to here. Uh, but for this one, obviously not, because that bendy part is meant to be the pipe. I'm not gonna bother putting that on. It's just gonna be a broken part of my Falcon. Uh, the next piece is this piece here, which goes this way round like that. And you attach it next to this part here on the main body so two holes just go in there like that and there is some color difference between the two pieces actually the painting kind of came out quite well so maybe i won't repaint it like i was just about to say but yeah that piece goes on there like that so so far we've got that piece there and that piece there all done so here i am talking about how the parts are symmetrical either side this part here is actually just for this side um so i got that wrong but very, very nice attention to detail having this piece. It shows that they really studied the uh, original model just to get that piece there. Very, very nice. And in fact, I just want to just pause and say, it is very, very well done this. All these holes are perfectly placed. I'm sure they will be. They have been so far. Uh, everything is perfectly placed. The parts fit in beautifully, um, which is quite amazing considering how much detail is going to be on this back panel. Very, very, very nice indeed. Thumbs up, Diagostini. So the next piece is this pipe here, which fits all the way at the bottom there in that hole. So just get it here like that. That doesn't seem to be working. Let's try again from a different angle. Or well, maybe it's this hole, actually. Yes, it is. Is it? Or this hole. This hole. There we go. Right, push that in. Stay in. Put a little too much glue in that. In on this piece so it's not going to set there we go so that piece goes there a little off it's not quite parallel to this line here it's a little bit off very very nice i like that just like that okay the next piece is this circular piece here and there's a nice square hole just there which this will pop into like that oh again probably a bit too much glue 
so it's not really in place. Oh, here we go. So twirl that one, twirl, twirl that one around to make sure it actually fits in. And it looks like that when it's all done. And the next piece is this piece here, which is actually, again, another bespoke piece for this side. There are two holes just like that there. And that piece just fits in oh, like so. It should do anyway. Come on. There we go. Just fits in there like that. I guess that is the equivalent of this piece here. You know, slightly different, but I'm liking that. Actually, it's not because that piece was molded in and this piece we added on. Hmm, that's interesting. Nope, not really sure, but that piece goes on there like that. <laughs> I do apologize for waffling there. Uh, the next piece is this piece here. The reason that I am waffling is because I am discovering this um, at the same time as you. Um, so I'm kind of just, sometimes my outer thoughts become, no, my inner thoughts become outer thoughts as I'm putting these pieces together. That piece goes on there. And I did remember to leave the pipework on that piece, which just jettons out just like that. I'm not looking forward to putting that piece in that there. That is going to be tight. I'm not looking forward to that when I come to it, which may not be this time. Because, of course, there's still two more issues of add-ons like this one, which is the next piece, uh, to come. So um, it won't all be finished today uh, because we've got a lot more to come. OK, so that part just goes in there like that. And I didn't know that that part was coming, which is why I painted around it. So I will have to just go over that with paint again. Um, but that's OK, because I'm, I'm still trying to work out how dark I want these... Uh, exhaust fumes stains to be so um, i'm kind of glad actually that that part does come because it kind of covers a paint job that i wasn't very happy with so that goes in there like that okay so the next piece is this piece here which attaches all the way back up here like that and once again the paint doesn't really match so i'm gonna have to go over these little parts again but that is very nice there Looking very sharp, as you can see, it really stands out from the paint job. Like I said, I'll just go over it again. But yeah, very, very nice. And the next piece is this one here, which just goes in there like that. Just hold it up to show you. Push that down. There we go. Attaches onto there very nicely like that. And the next piece is exactly the same piece again, but this time it goes into this square hole here like that. That's went really easy actually. Very nice. Yeah, that goes in there like that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I'm going to end this video because all the other parts on the sprue are tiny. And then I've got to do, obviously, the other side as well. Um, to get this video out on time on a Sunday, um, I have to stop here because I am running out of time because it has taken a lot longer than I thought. Um, I am sorry about that. For those of you who want to continue, um, I'm going to just throw up a picture of the magazine here with all the parts intact. Um, that is what it looks like. That's what I'm working to. And it does. You do have to take your time with it. So I am really sorry for that. I just I, I'm very conscious that I missed a video last week and I don't want to miss one again uh, this week. So uh, next week, we've got another special video where I'll be finally showing you what I've been doing with my interior. Um, it's been a long process as well, but I have um, nearly finished that. So that will be next week. And then the week after, it's more add-ons, but not predominantly because we will be looking at the landing gear as well. They've really given us a lot to do at the end to kind of go out with a bang, which is, a, a, I think, a really good idea. Lots of fiddly things to do. Um, it really feels like working at it and then you just sit back, relax, and it's all done. So if you want to see what I've done with my interior, I'll see you next week. Um, if not, I'll see you in two weeks' time. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.